From a wildfire in 2018 leading to one of the largest fire NATOs ever seen, to an intense vortex captured in the middle of a suburban California neighborhood, here are five incredible fire tornadoes that were caught on camera. Some wildfires start from pure chance, others spark from more malicious intent. However, the Carr Fire that ravaged 369 square miles of Shasta, California in 2018 was ultimately blamed on an accident. It all started when an RV traveling down the highway got a flat tire. Sparks flew from the wheel, scraping on the concrete, and ignited some dry brush at the side of the road. The driver clearly didn't mean to start a wildfire that caused $1.6 billion in damages. Still, it led to a helicopter crew capturing an awe-inspiring fire tornado on camera. Known as the Redding Fire Whirl, this fire nado stretched 18,000 feet in the air. It reached wind speeds over 143 miles per hour, making it as deadly as a Category 3 tornado touching down in Kansas. The Redding Whirl doubled as an actual tornado, causing way more damage than your everyday fire nado. Video shot by Cal Fire from a helicopter shows the scale of the vortex. Now, it may not be obvious at first, but notice the rotation in the smoke. Some experts even say this is easily one of the largest fire nados ever caught on camera. The car fire destroyed 1,600 buildings, and almost 1,100 of them were residential properties. It was the seventh most destructive fire in California history and took nearly 5,000 people to contain. Vanderhoof, British Columbia is a small town of about 4,500 people. They specialize in forestry, agriculture, and other similar businesses. However, in the summer of 2018, British Columbia played host to a violent string of wildfires. The government was forced to declare a state of emergency for the second year straight when 559 different fires ravaged every corner of the province. For the record, the last time they declared such an emergency was 2003. Before that was 1996. One of these, burning in the small town of Vanderhoof, made national news when firemen came face to face with a massive fire NATO, which actually managed to suck their hose over 100 feet in the air. The firefighters in this video were battling the Chutanli Lake Fire, which grew to over 20,000 hectares or 77 square miles before it was finally contained. A bit later in the video, one of the men actually throws a rock at the tornado, which definitely doesn't feel like standard practice. The woman behind the camera said the fire NATO hurled burning logs at them for 45 minutes before trying to steal their hose. While it looks like they won their tug of war, the fire NATO ultimately melted their hose, rendering it useless. From that point, all they could do was watch as the 200 foot fire NATO burned out on its own. Apparently, wildfires in British Columbia don't abide by Canadian hospitality. It must be scary to live in a state where your backyard could catch on fire at a moment's notice. That fear is their reality for many Californians, as wildfires ravage the Golden State year after year. In 2014, San Diego County went through a truly terrifying experience as 11 major wildfires destroyed over 60 structures. However, San Diegans witnessed things they never expected when those fires turned into fire tornadoes or fire nados. 
A fire nado, also known as a fire whirl or fire devil, works like a regular tornado. Thankfully, they are much less destructive and usually the size of a harmless dust devil. They form when intense heat rises and the surrounding air rushes to replace it. This creates a vortex, thus causing a fire tornado to form. The local fire department was no match for the massive fire just over the hills. Nearby homeowners must have feared the worst when they saw twisting funnels of fire rising into the air. Funnels of fire that can get as hot as 2,000 degrees. Judging by how far away the camera operator in the footage is, we can assume this fire was totally out of control. The 2014 San Diego wildfires began on May 5th, and the last one, the Cocos Fire, was finally contained on May 22nd. Still, flames ravaged for over two weeks, burning 26,000 acres of land and destroying 65 buildings. Cost-wise, the fires racked up a $60 million tab. Half of that went towards private property damage, while the other half helped firefighting efforts. The Cocos Fire was the most destructive, taking 40 buildings, including a dozen single-family homes. However, how the fire started is an even crazier story. After investigating the origins, the sheriff's department believed a 13-year-old girl intentionally started the fire. Apparently, she started a small one in her backyard, but the wind carried an ember into the flammable brush. She was ordered to do 400 hours of community service, write letters to all the victims, and pay $40,000 in restitution. Derbyshire is a county located in the heart of England and has played host to human settlers as far back as the Stone Age. Today, the county is full of rolling green hills and vast farmlands. It's also home to Ravensbourne Plastics Limited, which may seem irrelevant, but you'll soon see why. In August of 2018, a 10,000 square meter fire broke out at the plastics factory, with smoke able to be seen 23 miles away in Nottingham. When firefighters arrived, they were met with a monster that they weren't used to fighting. A fire nado stretched high into the air, almost resembling a strike of flaming lightning. The fire started at around 1 a.m. and raged well into the night. According to firefighters, 600,000 plastic trays acted as kindling, and it took 10 fire trucks and crews from neighboring departments to get it under control. Ravensbourne specializes in plastic trays used across England to stack bread in grocery stores. You probably know exactly what they look like and can imagine how devastating it would be to lose 600,000 of them overnight. After investigating the cause of the fire, Derbyshire police believed someone started it on purpose. Unfortunately, they exhausted all leads and called off the investigation. The Colorado River runs along the border of Southern California and Arizona, where temperatures get as hot as 110 degrees in the dead heat of summer. The river itself stretches from high in the Rocky Mountains and travels almost 1,500 miles south to Mexico. Colorado's snow-capped origins never have to worry about wildfires, but the danger becomes all too real as it heads south. Back in July of 2018, a couple from Arizona was driving along the California border and soaking up pleasant views of the Colorado River. Somewhere on their journey, a horrifying sight caught their eye as they saw smoke billowing over the tree lines. When they got closer, they realized they stumbled upon a wildfire, and it was burning out of control. 
Most interesting of all, though, was the fire NATO that formed within the inferno, and how after a few moments, it moved over the river and transformed into a water spout. goes the water wow spout. the water spout from the fire that is nuts what was oh, that? these people better get moving look at the sh falling out of the sky that's what that is i was like look at it honey circuit you... the branches is freaking from the thing it's pulling them up in the air we might have to go yeah i saw big trees falling look at that water spout oh my god and those two boats just dropped by Water spouts form the same way fire nados and regular tornadoes do. However, they do less damage since they're over a body of water. Clearly, they're still strong enough to throw debris across the lake, as our Arizona couple learned rather quickly before rolling up the window and hightailing it out of there. Known as the Mojave Fire, the blaze stretched over 900 acres before finally dying out. On the day of the fire, temperatures peaked at 110 degrees, while winds blew at 20 miles per hour. The perfect combination for fire nados and water spouts, I guess. Well, that about wraps things up for this video, but if you enjoyed it and want to see more just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.